Yo, what's going on people? Diligent here back in the cut, man. Hope you're good, hope you're safe. Today's video, we got something a little bit different. We're gonna be looking at my top five favorite FX plugins to put on my melodies. All these plugins are gonna be stuck to Logic, so ain't gotta worry about paying for anything. But yeah, man, hopefully just allow you to use the Logic software a little bit better and get effects of some paid plugins. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, first things first, I got this melody from a loop kit that I'm working on, and we're gonna use it to showcase the plugins. So I'll just play it from here. Okay, so at number five, we've got the pedal board. The pedal board can be found under amps and pedals and then pedal board. So I would personally compare the pedal board to something like guitar rig. Um, it's got multiple different types of presets and effects that you can just drag it into the box. So let's add a bit of echo. Maybe a bit of delay. Take it off. Maybe add a spin box. Add some chorus. There's a lot of really good distortion as well. Let's see. Some of these might be a bit too gritty. Let's try this one. Pedal board also comes with a range of different types of presets. So overdrive presets, compressors, reverb, delays. Let's try the filter. Shimmering, right, let's go. Just changing the whole vibe. And then if you want, you can add in. Yeah, not that one. Let's try. Add some chorus. But yeah, I find it really good for this, um, adding a different vibe to your melodies. I just like flicking through the presets and seeing what I can do. There's different types of EQs, different types of compressors. So yeah, pedal board comes in at number five. So number four on the list is step effects. So step effects can be found under multi effects and then step effects. Yeah, I'm not sure some of you are aware, but there was a plugin a while ago called Camel Space and that company was purchased by Logic. They also created Camel Crusher and Camel Fat. But yeah, now Logic has purchased it, it's been integrated into the system. So it's called step effects now. Um, what it is, is a step modulator, has a range of different filters, reverbs, distortion. And again, I just like flicking through the presets and seeing what I can find. So I'm gonna play it. You can change the step settings if you want. Turn on and off. Add reverb. I like that one. Maybe ease up on the mix a little bit. Yeah, I find I find this dialing back the mix can be the best results because some of them um, are a bit harsh. But yeah, there's different presets that are split up. So let's go to the gated. Let's try some ambiences. Yeah, I just find that it can add the whole different vibe to your melodies and give you something you wasn't even looking for. So yeah, give that a try. Coming in at number three is Fat Effects. 
Um, fat effects can be found on the multi effects and then fat effects. The way I use fat effects is predominantly on my drums using the soft clipping function. Um, so I've created a drum bus. Let me mute this. Where all my drums are routed to. Okay. And let's turn fat effects on. And I usually, I have a preset saved called soft clipper, but what I'd usually do is that turn each individual function off, except for the master, and then have soft clipping on and adjust it. But I'm just gonna open up the, the preset. So I'm gonna play it without and then on. So yeah, a little bit more punch, um, a little bit of that nice um, clipping distortion. And you can also add the little things to it. There's a compressor, a bass enhancer. So let's just play with some of the distortions. And... and change the type to warm classic. You can also, let me turn the melody on as well actually. You can also um, automate the filter. But you can also use fat effects on your melodies as well. So I've opened up an instance of it on my melody. And let's just flip, flip through some presets again. Like Logic has really good presets that you can use. Let's try this. Yeah. Okay, I ain't gonna lie, some of those presets were trash, but with a little bit of manipulation, you can probably get a nice sound and effect. But yeah, like I said, I predominantly use it on my drums. So fat effects coming in at number three. Okay, cool. So coming in at number two is rotor cabinet. Rotor cabinet can be found in modulation and then rotor cabinet. Um, I would sort of compare rotor cabinet a little bit to RC20. Um, it is different, but it can kind of give you that same old feel. It kind of just washes out the melody a little bit. So I'm turn it off and turn it on. So it kind of just like makes it sound a little bit old or kind of washes it out a little bit, which can help like create room, removing some frequencies in the mix. Uh, I'm going to flick through some presets. settings yeah if you put like some chorus some tremolo you basically got a very similar rc20 type effect so anyone that can't afford the plugin that's another viable option but yeah gig rig comes in at number two and finally coming at number one my favorite stock logic plugin is definitely overdrive Overdrive can be found in distortion and then overdrive. Yeah, it's a pretty simple plugin. The tone acts as an EQ and the drive is how much of the drive you're actually putting into. I usually just turn the tone the way up and then layer the drive. Sometimes I don't even put any drive up. Like it does, act, this gives it a little something in that zero. But 
But yeah, just, just dial it up a little bit. I don't need too much because I still got the fat effects on the drum bus. Yeah, the more this line becomes straight, the more you're hard clipping. And then the smoother it is, the more of a soft clip effect is it, <laughs> it is. So. Yeah, I ain't got a kick in this beat right now, but um, yeah, I'll probably slap it on there as well. But yeah, man, those are my top five favorite stock Logic plugins. Let me know if there's anything that you think I've missed out, anything that you like to use. Um, and let me know if you like this type of content. I want to kind of dive deeper into the Logic software. Um, next, I might probably do the tips and tricks. I think someone wanted that next. Um, so yeah, man, let me know what you guys think. Road to 1K continues. We're nearly there now. So if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe and leave a like on the channel to help me through the algorithm. But enough of that. Thank you for watching. God bless and I'll catch you in the next one.